Understanding how to manage run levels and boot targets is crucial for Linux system administration. This section delves into setting default run levels, changing between them, and the critical procedures for shutting down or rebooting your system efficiently. In systemd, the concept of run levels is replaced by boot targets. Use system seagull set default followed by the target name like graphical.target for GUI mode to set the default boot target. This command configures your system to enter the specified mode upon startup. Switching between boot targets or run levels including accessing single user mode for troubleshooting is straightforward. Use system CTL isolate followed by the target name. For traditional sysvinit systems, init followed by the run level number performs a similar function with telinit being another alternative. Linux allows system administrators to shut down or reboot the system directly from the command line. Commands like shutdown EEH now immediately halt the system while reboot and shutdown R now are used for rebooting. These commands ensure a safe cessation of processes and a clean system state. Before performing major system events like changing run levels or rebooting, it's best practice to alert connected users. The wall command enables you to broadcast messages to all logged in users, ensuring system events don't catch anyone by surprise. Terminating processes properly is fundamental to system maintenance. Use commands like kill, kill and kill all to send signals to processes for graceful termination. For unresponsive processes, kill minus nine forces a stop, though it should be used as a last resort to prevent data loss. ACPID or the Advanced Configuration and Power Interface Daemon plays a pivotal role in power management, handling events like the press of a power button or closing a laptop lid. Configuring ACPID actions allows for customized power management responses, enhancing system usability. Mastering the management of run levels, boot targets, and system power states is essential for efficient Linux administration. This knowledge ensures you can maintain control over system states, respond to hardware events, and manage processes and power actions seamlessly.